Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Opus Abstract. We are outside in the yard. We've been working out here, getting some things done. As spring is here, but we do have some cold weather coming in for like a day, but then it's going to improve. I have a hose link. I have one here and one in the front also. And Philip just put a little connection on here that has the double thing for a hose. And that way we can hook up a sprinkler and and that sort of thing to it make it a little easier we, I mean, we hook up a second hose and then be able to run a sprinkler out to the yard if we need to for the grass and stuff um, so I, my garden beds are coming up I've got uh, lettuce that's looking pretty good and my uh, radishes this is the second group now coming up the beets are getting big on Thursday night, they're saying we may have, well, 35 degrees, which could turn into 32 and be a frost, but we are hoping for the best. We are hoping that that's, it doesn't get that cold. But you can see the changes that have occurred now in the garden since my tour, my early March tour. Um, the hydrangeas are leafing out. This is the limelight mini one, little lime. And then the bobos, and they've got leaves all over them. I've also got sunburst that's bursting, coming out. It's kind of a variegated one. It's real pretty, real pretty. So, but my, my angel, the autumn angel, those are the ones I had planted. And then we had that bad winter, so still letting those come back and I have to kind of trim off anything that might be dead but it does look like they're starting to grow up the branch they're trying to put on some more growth so we'll let them be and see how they do it's still early can't wait to see the big blooms on these I have never grown hydrangeas this is my first time doing it so I'm anxious to see what that's going to look like here's my blood good seedling which is leafing out really nicely it's actually green with a little bit of red on the edges which is a happy surprise see this is the first year i've had this tree so i never had it in the spring to see it when it first comes out but i'm i'm thinking that's kind of pretty very happy with that looks like it's robust enough to do stuff there's azure Maisie's out there. She was getting the ball kicked to her. She likes playing with the ball. My grass plants are starting to come up a little. Things are slow. Things are slow, but they're progressing. We got buds on the autumn twist. So that's a good thing. Um, I planted, this is coral. Let me see if I can get it in view here. Uh, knockout rose. And this one's called Coral. And uh, it's a really got a really pretty flower on it. It's kind of an orangey flower, and then it turns to more of a coral color. So I'm excited about that to see it. It's Oh, and by the way, if you remember, there was a Japanese maple in this spot. My other Anne Irene, because I had two of them, apparently um, her roots got um, rotten. And she... And she got cold. I don't know what happened, but anyway, the, it, it was dead. So I pulled it and I put this knockout rose in and it should be very hardy and it should do well. They usually bloom from spring until frost and sometimes when it is frosty. So that's going to be a good one. I have some lobelia in a pot and I see a bee is coming to it now. Look at that. Isn't that nice? trying to encourage pollinators in my garden. <laughs> you can probably hear a rooster crowing. We have farms all around us. My, mag my um, majesty, my autumn encore majesty has bloomed like crazy. It has just flushed out and it is wonderful. Absolutely love this. I have three of them. See the other one there? And then the one there but these are 
these are great and uh, so these should bloom quite a bit so they'll bloom like this even my red ones out front the autumn fires they got kind of frosty but they are coming back again uh, again in blooming so that's a good thing this is the geisha gone wild Japanese maple and look at that is that not beautiful is that not gorgeous oh my gosh it's one of the trees I got from mr. maple and I got it in the in the fall so it was into fall color and, and losing its leaves at the time that I got it so this is my first season with it seeing it come to life in the spring oh my goodness Sorry, I just get way excited about stuff, but this, come on, look at that. Isn't that nice? I love that. My rhododendron is blooming. It's got a lot of buds. It had buds on it earlier. And all I could show you was the buds, but now it's got this gorgeous pink flower. Look at that. One, two, three, four, six, six. There's another one in between, so it gets quite a few flowers on one thing. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Very happy about that too. So all in all, things are coming along. Things are coming out of dormancy. Things are leafing out. Japanese maples are leafing out. Except for the Anne Irene that was over there where I now have the knockout rose. So unfortunately, it didn't make it. So, you know, win some, lose some, I guess. This one here is another one. This is that celebration. Acer palmenta, uh, palmatum celebration. Here's another one that's got some leaves on it that are just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. It gets an even darker um, red maroon in the fall oh it's just beautiful just beautiful very have another um, mr. maple purchase again in the fall last fall so this is our first season with them this is the Ann Irene that is making it she'll be they'll be this will get more yellow gets real yellow in the in the fall and changes color oh my gosh so this one is coming alive too I'm getting some pretty leaves on on this too I'm trying to get close-ups of that it's a little breezy out here a little windy not too bad so another uh, mr. maple purchase there so these things are this garden here is still recovering from all that had happened in the winter but the Pieris, it's called Frost Pieris, is getting some little bell-shaped flowers on it. Little tiny ones. Variegated leaves. It's very pretty. My banana appeals, I've tried not to look at them because they look terrible right now. But there is some leaves, uh, you know, buds on the branches there. So I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it try to come back. But I may just have to like not look at it for a while. It's such a pretty plant when the leaves are looking good and chartreuse -y and all that, but it really did get hit with that frost. My Japanese painted fern is coming out. Gorgeous. So pretty. That one kind of has like variegated, kind of, it's got like a little purpley in the leaves and so pretty love that too and my beardus and it still has some flowers on it. I had said in that one video that I didn't know that Japanese maples flowered um, they are dry but it did it flowered like crazy and actually my Senku Kaku still has some flowers on it too so that's getting very pretty I love this green and then in the in the fall this thing puts on a show it has yellow red you know 
colors in the leaves and they are just gorgeous and of course we'll see that in the fall but for now we just enjoy each season as it is and these nice nice lacy leaves this one I bought locally it's actually put on growth it was a lot smaller than this when I planted it last year so this is my first spring with it though so here's another Delaware white but as you see it's not near as nice as it as the one out front that's blooming like crazy that I put on a little short video but it is getting some buds on it so you know it, it may flower it may so I'm gonna leave it for now I'm not gonna pull it yet it gets enough Sun here to do its thing but anyway so there's that so and then the uh, the roses this one this cathedral bell is still, you know, taking its time. Be watching that. I was at Walmart today and I saw another one there and it was just full of leaves. But I mean, this one's, we're, we're going to let it go. We're not going to, we're not going to panic pull, you know, panic pull and pull it out. But we are going to look at this, that limb, because if that gets any darker, that's going to have to come off. And if it actually is diseased, it will come out. But I need to give it a little bit of time just to see for sure before I panic pull it. <laughs> the honeysuckles. When I did the film earlier, this thing was bare. You couldn't really see much. I mean, it, was, it wasn't completely bare. It had leaves on it, but the leaves didn't look very good. But look at all the getting readies to bloom. They are getting ready. They are getting ready. They are gonna pop. They are gonna pop and be beautiful. Eventually, it'll grow enough that it'll cover the arbor. And I have very good uh, feeling about it because it seems to be growing fast. So, and these are gonna be pink and they smell gorgeous. They smell so good. So that's pretty good. And there's the other one doing the same getting lots of blooms on it too that are ready to open I put some dwarf um, mondu mondi mondu grass yeah mondu m-o-n-d-i I believe on underneath here on both and that'll grow and that'll fill in so it's one that'll spread a little bit so this is the video for today a little bit of a tour in the garden just showing some things that are waking up still seems slow it's never fast enough for me like I'm ready to go now you know but we are gonna have one more cool day a couple of cool nights uh, this week this coming week also this rose the Marc Chagall the one that's a variegated red yellow uh, that one seems to be doing okay so we have hopes for that one. Now these things that you get at Walmart sometimes, bare roots, you don't know. Sometimes they've already been under too much stress to do much, but this one seems to be okay. But we're gonna keep an eye on Cathedral Bell. It's a shame too, because the Cathedral Bell was really, really pretty. So, I don't know. We'll just see, we'll just see. It wasn't very expensive, so that helps. Not spending a ton of money. So anyway, I guess that is all for today. And we will be back with another. And by the way, Philip's going to the studio on Tuesday to record another song at Wishbone Studio this time with Billy Lawson. And so I plan to go and do a, a video of that process. And... Hopefully that will be of interest. There'll be some interesting, interesting people there and just interesting, you know, the way Billy puts together these things with his computer and it's, an, it's a fun process to watch. So at any rate, hope you have a great Easter Sunday, which is today. He is risen. And I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful blessed day with your family, having a meal, doing things. And come back and see me. Have a great day.
Bye.